Peace and love, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I decided to do a video, um, a lecture video about the importance of um, paper trading. Uh, someone asked me, you know, if I had it to do all over again, what would I now, as a more seasoned trader, what would I tell myself when I first started? And uh, that would be uh, to paper trade. Now, when I came into the game, uh, I came in rather retarded um, because I just started trading, um, you know, on my own. Because my mentality, I knew about paper trading, but my mentality was, you know, well, I need, you know, uh, I don't need to... Um, play with fake money, you know, I need to um, get in the game and, you know, I don't need practice, you know, uh, and that's, that was a horrible uh, mistake because uh, it cost me a lot of money, you know, to learn uh, how to earn. So, you know, I'm a cigar smoker and so I liken it to um, cigar smoking in that when you start off smoking cigars, you know, you have to find what suits your palate, right? Now, in order to do that, you have to uh, try all different kinds of cigars to find out what, to find your niche, to find out what you like um, and whatnot. And that's gonna cost you money uh, to find out what you like. You know, you're gonna spend a lot of money on cigars that are horrible, but then you're gonna find some great ones as well. It's no different with trading. Um, if you don't, if you come into this um, without the right, uh, without taking some practice, you're gonna find yourself uh, losing some money that you necessarily didn't have to use, lose if you had a, uh, got some practice at it. And that's what paper trading affords you to do. Uh, to learn um, a few things about yourself. Trading teaches you a lot about yourself. You know, are you disciplined as you think you are? Are you really a good person and so disciplined like uh, many people like to think they are? Um, are you in control of your emotions um, and things like that? You have to practice and learn how to win in this game. And that was a mistake that I made. Um, and so I'm sharing that now, you know, um, you know, you have to figure out what is your style of trading? What are you best at? I should say, because there's four different, there's four different, uh, styles of trading. You know, you have, uh, day trading, meaning that you get in a position in one day and you're out in that same day. There's also um, scalping, which is day trading, but that means that you're in a play for a short period of time. You're, you're looking for some momentum uh, to ride the wave um, for a short period of time, get, get you a nice percentage and you're out. Um, then there's swing trading, which is meaning you, you, you open a position and then you hold that uh, overnight uh, for, it could be anywhere from a, one day you hold it all the way up until several weeks. Um, and then there's leaps, which is another way, another form of swing trading. But um, it means that you're going to be in this trade for an extended period of time. Uh, some people um, say that a, a leap is uh, anywhere from, I've heard from nine months, I've heard from anything over a year um, hell the way you make your style of trading a leap may be uh, a three-month contract so these are things that you have to figure out i don't subscribe to that i don't say that i'm a day trader or i'm a, a swing trader i just believe in trading the markets uh i just believe in trying to be a profitable trader people get so caught up in these labels and whatnot um but you have to figure out what style works best for you. Are you able to day trade? Some people are not. 
is to uh, they, they get anxiety and things like that when the trade goes against them or, or what have you. Uh, so especially if they're trading a volatile stock. Uh, so you have to figure out what works best for you. Paper trading affords you to do that, to figure out your style, figure out what you like best, figure out your risk tolerance. Um, and then because there are people who don't don't mind being down 20 30 percent because they're swinging the trade anyway and they got bought enough time for it to do so you know they may have bought a contract three to six months out and they don't care about being down today or this week because they feel like they see a move that they would be uh profitable if they uh hold the contract and stay in, to stay in the trade. Uh, paper trading allows you to find yourself, you know. Um, and also another thing that's very important when you're first starting to trade is to have a trading plan, right? To have a trading plan. Now, um, people have different uh, plans of attack. First of all, you need one. Let me just say that you, you need a, a trading plan um, and a very basic, excuse me, a very basic uh, trading plan would consist of uh, your entry, a stop loss, and an exit, a target. If you don't have those basic things, you're pretty much gambling. You should know where you're going to enter you should know where your stop loss goes where that means you're managing you're mitigating your risk right you don't want this thing to go to go against you the wrong way so you may put your stop loss at 10 percent. some people put their stop losses at break even some people put them at 20 25 percent 30 percent whatever but by paper trading that um because the entry gives you that's where you get your money at from the entry, right? So by paper trading, that allows you to uh, work on that, hone that craft of, of making a proper entry and setting a stop loss, you know, uh, and, and, and learning how to mitigate your risk, you know? Um, so that's something that's very important uh, as well, you know, um, and also being familiar with your brokerage, right? Now, I just believe that as you trade, you should always have more than one brokerage. Um, I have like four. Uh, I don't trade all four of them every day or whatever. Uh, I have certain brokerages for certain things. I have certain brokerages that I only trade leaps. I have certain uh, brokerages that I day trade in and whatnot so uh you, but so different brokerages have different uh you have to get familiar with those brokerages and by paper trading um that affords you the opportunity to do so that's why i always recommend we uh because we is is lit uh you can literally get everything they've just enhanced the uh, app as well they have um all kinds of stop losses now they have trailing stop losses and um, they have uh, stock screeners for those who like to use those they have those their charts are lit i love their charts uh on the app not the desktop desktop is uh not too good but the app is perfect for me uh and a lot of other people that i've recommended it to they use it to this day so um paper trade learn the craft um develop you your style of trading what works best for you uh develop um a trading plan you know and how to execute your plan and by paper trading that'll afford you an opportunity to do that without losing any money and so I'm going to end this video now. If you haven't already, please like, hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you can get notifications when I put out more content. All right, I'm out. Peace.